Hey, how's it going? Shell Matchy here from Fit Code. I want to talk to you guys today about willpower because it is so, so very important. Um, a lot of times people come to me and they're like, what plan do I need to get on to get from point A to point B? But they don't address the mindset portion of it because no matter how good the plan is, if you don't have the mindset to make it and put it in action and keep that plan going long term, then you can't have the success that you want. So mindset comes before the action because the mindset gives you the ability to make the action, keep that action going and keep existing long term. And willpower is such an important piece of that. So yesterday I talked about the short term things you can do to increase your willpower so you stay away from that chocolate covered bacon donut in the office that is so very tempting and smells so very good. And we talked about how willpower is like a energy bar. Um, you know those little power bars that when you're playing video games and as you get hit each time that power bar starts to go down and it's sort of or like a muscle each time you do a rep your energy starts to go down and then eventually you're going to hit failure and you can't do anymore so if you can start to build that create a bigger energy bar so as our willpower starts to go down throughout the day from stress from making decisions from utilizing our willpower we have more of a buffer room so we're less likely to make decisions that aren't going to be consistent with our goals later on in the day all right so hopefully that makes sense so the first thing you do is learn how to mitigate or manage your stress so if you learn how to do that then you know how to handle stressful situations so they don't become stressful for you as stressful as they will for normal people then that willpower bar doesn't start to the energy bar doesn't start to go down as much as it as it could and it really kind of stays up on that high end so if you learn how to take a normally stressful situation and flip it and change your mindset it plays a huge difference for you right Stick to a plan is the second thing I would say. You stick to a plan and say, I'm, I, instead of saying I can't have you know, these Twizzlers or whatever, say I don't do that. That's not who I am. So it changes the con context of things. It changes the, your whole approach to the, to the foods or to your workouts, etc. You say, I am not a person that does X, Y, and Z as opposed to I can't have X, Y, or Z, right? And see how that kind of changes and shifts your whole mindset, and it puts you in a different, different um, sphere, so to speak, and and sets you up for success. Third thing you want to do is get more sleep. Getting more sleep is so very, very key. If you get four to five, six hours of sleep, your willpower bar starts here, as opposed to being somewhere out here. So with seven hours of sleep, so it's very important. And that's not even talking about the hormones, ghrelin and leptin, which regulate your satiety. Um, and your your appetite, right? Um, next thing, meditate. Try to get meditate on a daily basis. Try to get eight weeks consistently of meditation. You see your willpower, essentially like working out for eight weeks straight, right? Um, where your willpower muscle will start to build and you'll be able to do more. And it's not having you know, any woo-ha, legs cross, lights out, candles sort of thing. It doesn't have to be that. All it has to be is Clear your mind, and what I like to do personally when I meditate is I like to think about, I like to have very quiet nasal breaths, and then try to figure out, try to keep my breaths as quiet as possible. So I breathe in nice and deep, and blow out. You just think about keeping my breaths quiet, and, and that helps clear my mind. If I, my mind starts to wander, bring it back to keep my, my mind quiet. And that, because I'm, I'm always bringing myself back to center, Am I breathing quietly through my nasal? Or sometimes I'll count. Um, then that builds my willpower. Because essentially I'm just doing more reps. I'm bringing myself back. Back and utilizing that willpower. Okay, I'm getting off track. My mindset starts to wander. Let me bring it back. And that helps. that's how it helps bring up. Build up willpower. Better exercise and nutrition. Very important. And then learn how to postpone stuff for later. So instead of saying... I'm going to have this now, say, I'm going to have it later. All right? I'm going to have X, Y, and Z. I'm just going to have that. In like five years, I'm going to have that bacon-covered chocolate brownie. And it will definitely help out and change your whole mindset on things. So you're not saying, I can't have it once again. You're saying, I'll just have that later, and it will help you out with your willpower. So hopefully, a little longer video than I wanted to do. But I think those are six great tips that will help you with your willpower. And uh, be on the lookout. i got a challenge coming up for you guys. And I'm excited about it. So be on the lookout. It's going to come out on Facebook. And uh, hope you guys will be down for the challenge. It's going to be an accountability challenge. And 
Um, I'm putting it out there because I'm holding myself accountable to make this happen for you. And if you're looking for extra accountability in certain aspects of your life and nutrition, workout standpoint, this is where you're going to want to be. So be on the lookout for that coming in the next few days. Other than that, remember to bring it each and every time you come out there. Have a great one. Shouting out.